contest coin collector. Wait, what? Fishing and festivals? Van worker. Van worker. Dream collector. I should be able to report to Templus P or Temp Priest. I don't know why it's not showing up back there now. Hopefully she's still back there. Is that normal or does people not game loot? How do you open Arch Pass? rent this is not wow yo what up pat dude i'm loving it so far or elder skulls dude i'm i'm loving it i it's like mcdonald's out here man actually though it's like a good version of uh, Black Desert Online. Actually though, a lot of fun. And so the way it works is you choose one class, right? So this game used to be super pay to win, right? But they came out with Arch Age Un Unchained because this German company bought it. Um, and uh, they basically said, we're gonna put out another version of the game, but it's gonna be buy to play, but we're not gonna put any loot boxes, nothing behind a paid wall like that. Like the only thing that's really behind a, a paid wall is they have like a battle pass in a way, which um, gets you some cool stuff, but it's not required like at all. And you can get the basic battle pass for five gold in game. But then if you want the premium rewards, you can pay money, uh, like real money, and you'll get some like cosmetics, you'll get some other um, like in-game stuff. But it's like pretty cool. Like all you need is five in-game gold and you can get the pass, but it doesn't even cost anything. But then you also have like your regular marketplace, which is this guy. And then, so all this stuff can be unlocked in game, but then if you go to credits, this is the actual money, like you have to buy it. Um, oh wow. If you spend, huh, that's cool. I didn't know that. So you can even upgrade to the, uh, the premium tier. If you have 15 gold, you can upgrade to the premium tier. Because it costs five to buy the the pass, and then if you have another ten, hey, soldier pat, thank you for the. Uh... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Pat. I uh, appreciate you for that uh, sub with Twitch Prime. That was from 28 days ago. Really? Peace. Also 13 months. Damn, boy. I guess you never shared it or something. My my tongue feels like it's 14 soon, BB. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate it so much. Wait, bound family name. Only, only stewards can change family name. But they have a lot of cool, like, stuff here. Like, check out some of these outfits. Like, these are all, you have to buy them. And they're kind of expensive. I would totally rock this. Does it tell you if it's account-wide? Mine's on pickup, die applied. Two rooms of elves buried in wrappings. You can get some pets. I don't know why you can't preview pets. Look at the little cats. 
Little cats. Little kitties. Some gliders, which are really cool in themselves. Some housing items. And then whatever these are, they're like dances. But that's at like a paid wall. But honestly, like I'm I'm very impressed with the game so far. Uh, besides, of course, they did have some launch issues, a little bit of a queue and everything. Um, that's to be expected, though, with pretty much every MMO anyways. But even past that, the gameplay, um, the classes, there's like a hundred different um, classes in a way. So the way it works is you choose your skills, right? So I started out with Maldiction. Um, that was my first one. Right now I'm level 16. I chose that, got it up to 16. At level seven, you get a second class. And then at level 15, you get a third. So Maldiction, Occultism, and Witchcraft, witchcraft combined equals Witch Doctor. If I changed any one of these out to a different class, which you can do, um, if you reset it, costs 30 coin and recovery points. I'm not exactly sure what recovery points are, but if you swap it out, then that class title will change to something else. So right now, if they like click on me, they're gonna see like, oh, this guy's a witch doctor. Um, and some classes are more common than others, but it, it's pretty cool like there's there's so many combinations because there's so many classes so like each one does something different um, some are more common than others of course I love my magic stuff so like this ability and this ability are part of maldiction um, these two are part of I think it's these two yeah, these two are part of occultism. Um, this one's maldiction. This one, the and then these two are part of witchcraft. And then, like, you can see how many... Everything in red is all the stuff I still need to unlock. And then you have your passives, too. Then once you hit a certain level, you start getting ancestral levels. Um, I'm not sure too much how this works, but that's cool, too. Um, your gear that you have each a few quests you um, you can actually keep your gear you get like this item that pretty much you take it off you go to like this thing you put in the gear right here and then it will um, basically it'll upgrade that piece of equipment so you can wear like your starting gear up until like pretty late in the game um why is this venture hush star i think that's it that's a side quest also you don't need to do um any side quests like at all like it's not even recommended to do them until level 30 because you level so fast from then um the one thing so at level 30 pvp opens and this is every every server is pve slash pvp um so like if i've run past somebody that's of the other faction they can attack me if there's like a group of people you can get ganked like fast um and it's kind of like so the west is the west side which is i'm the nurians which is basically humans um uh or nurian is that a, i think that's how you say it Nuria, something like that. Um, I'm part of the, the human race. And then there's also elves and uh, dwarves. They par they're part of the west side, which is kind of like the, the good guys, the alliance. Um, and then on the right side, on the east, you have furians, which are basically furries. Uh, there's like an, an Asian race. And then there's a... Um, so the last one is demons. Yeah, straight up for, I think they're actually, what are they? They're called like Furian? Furian? Uh. 
I'm pretty sure they're actually called Furian. No, no, they're not. Uh, something with an F, though, or Turian, something like that. I know what class I'm picking. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get it. But Pat, up oh, for twenty-five dollars, this is actually, I I like it a lot. If it was free, sure, yeah. No, I know. There's a lot of you're still in the WoW and everything too. I'm not into WoW. I'm into this, so. I'm I'm really enjoying it though, like a lot. They have some more, but it's really not like the best. I haven't been able to to watch it like that. But I I do want to try to get some people to to get into this game because it, it is pretty pretty cool. Um, I think doing the the version that they did is was actually a decent idea. Releasing a releasing a paid version I'm thinking about making this like one of my main games for a little bit idea on what endgame content is like um not 100 sure also it's up bad um yeah it's a little bit iffy for me i'm not exactly sure how it works um i know there there's definitely a lot but i'm not like fully clear um you of course you have like trials raids like things like that but i i I know there's a lot more to it like the whole entire battle is once you get to level 30 then like pvp can kind of slow down your questing but once you hit 30 you want to start doing all the quests and then it's like once you hit like 55 i think it is and then you start doing like the big stuff like world bosses and things like that to try to um get higher um, I am currently level 17 right now, Ben. So, I could be a lot higher if I wasn't just learning the game. Um, I was watching Shorty Guy play this earlier. And <laughs> at my time, when I'm at right now, 3.30, he was at, um, he was at like level 31 or 32. But it, at the same time, he's leveled like six times. Here I am playing for the first time. Um, so I'm still learning, exploring, things like that. Um, luckily, the class that I chose, or the race, um, I actually haven't seen anybody else in this area. Everybody else that I've been watching has been on the East faction. So none of them were like around here. So all this is brand new to me. Um, even like the starting quest, the starting mission, that was all new to me too. Which is cool. Um, what's that? I actually have some water behind me, so I'm gonna grab some of that because it's getting a little dry and I think my, my tongue is bothering me too, which is odd. Hopefully, and I, I really hope, but tomorrow, I hope that they fix the uh, the queue time, because I uh, would love to to be able to um, hop back on quickly after I'm done at the gym, and then stream some more. I I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be able to stream Thursday this week, because Friday I'm I have drill this weekend. Um, Friday is Sunday. So I probably won't be back until Monday or so, but I don't know. I'm going to try to do something. Open old door. Uh, am I supposed to talk? Oh, hey. Wait, what? Drop that. Find the blood queen. And kill a bloodhound. 
warehouse and so Ah, there's a rat. Kill the rat. <laughs> bad says hi. I said bad as youngin says hi. Your feet, yeah, feet stream. Huh? I said we can see your feet. The feet stream. Wait, what? We're locked in here again? The weird thing about this is, um, we can bump, you can bump into each other. So there was one of those moments where there was a, a full on line earlier, or not a line, but I was watching uh, Shorty and those. Uh, some stuff going on in the background because there's so many people and you, you couldn't get to the quest objective But Something very minor <sighs> um, I have equipment points these. I thought there was a dog, then I realized this were feet. <laughs> we're celebrating 10 years of League of Legends. Tune in to our 10th anniversary edition of Riot. Oh, wow. Is it really 10 years? Damn. One sec. I'm gonna try to get to 20 and then hop off. Boy, bad needs some glasses. <laughs> nice. Okay, so. Targets to their current one sec. What should we get? Tethers the target to their current location for five seconds, pulling them to every time they attempt to move away. Um, flick single en enemy with curse seeds for 7.5 seconds. Finds them. Slowly lifts them into the air. That's funny. I'll take that. Okay. Witch Doctor. You cannot save this cell. That's sick. Skill Saver. Save your favorite skill sets to switch between them easily. Expand the Skill Saver, then click the empty slot or save a skill set. Saving it to a skill set and cannot be undone during combat in certain areas. Place the skill set in a group once activated. Uh, talk to Marion. Marion. Select one. Flute or loot. Uh, I kind of want to get the health one because I already have another one. Nearby allies, yeah. Instrument skill to play lutes and flutes. Lutes restore health and flutes restore... Yeah, I already have a... Loot. Wait, what? Did I get rid of my flute? Oh, there it is. That heals. Healing performance enabled. So, uh, what's this? Teleport to. Okay, I don't want to use that. Wait, let me actually throw that there. I love that. Play dead. <laughs> uh, talk to Guardian Electra. Wow, I'm already 19. <laughs> 
Southwest Arden. Ooh. Marinpole. There we go. At level 22. Uh, well, not like 22, but at level 20, that's when I can get my uh, battle pet. Southwest White Arden. So we finally found Marinpole. Oh. Been right there the entire time. And it's this giant city. Oh my god. Wait, that's... The, I'm pretty sure, like, this is the capital for, like, the West. Members of our factions can't attack New York Alliance members. <clears throat> Where did you get them? Got none. Pat, if this game ever goes on sale and you're not doing something. See, the one thing I love about this is this doesn't require a subscription. There is no subscription. Like, ESO isn't like that, you know? Like, you need, almost need a subscription in order to, to do it. Wait, what? I don't know what that does. Gain skill sets, receive blessing. If you die too, you lose like all your XP. But if you go to, you have to go to the person, then they'll give you your XP back. Collect white ghost uh, crystals. Bro, die. Oh my god, what the hell? Greater shine to recover lost XP. Rip. Recover health and mana by praying to the goddess Nui at a shrine. Play your musical instrument to recover Wait, what? Why isn't it? Yeah. Regenerates so slow. But that doesn't this uh Try to group up with this guy. Party leader can share their location with other party members by formation and clicking the map or mini map.
Now it's starting to get a little bit rough. I need one more. Damn, boy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Got it. I'm going to leave the party. Speed run. complete level 20 and armor. check your folio for available designs and material requirements a party Holy. leader can share the location of other party members by holding shift and left clicking the map or mini map the blessing lily on the victory uh victor card wob 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 all right, uh, I'm going to go meet the Chosen, and after that, that's going to be it for me for tonight. It's already 9, 12. So, it's about that time. Our leader can show that location. He animated youth. Uh-oh, zombies. Zombies everywhere. Use the practice bow on the... Alright, yeah, whatever. We're right here. Oh, wait. There you go. Some of these quests are, like, stupid easy. 21. <laughs> Alright, let me get to the next area. Like, look... We literally just went from 20 to 21 in like 10 seconds. Almost. Man. Guild manager. Okay, here we go. This seems like a promising place to stop. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hop off right here. So, 